Data from the MSF Diphtheria Treatment Center in Cox Bazar, Bangladesh, allowed us to analyze the outcomes of treatment with diphtheria antitoxin in the largest outbreak in several de decades for this vaccine-preventable disease. Data on the safe use of diphtheria antitoxin to treat diphtheria was scarce, but we can now say that treatment outcomes were excellent. It can be safely administered in low resource settings as long as there's uh, sufficient human resources and well-trained personnel. We're now updating the clinical guidelines with our findings. Every year, MSF conducts measles mass vaccination campaigns, but the number of children reached is not always enough to protect the community. This is why we conducted a qualitative research in the community in Conakry to pinpoint misconceptions and barriers limiting our vaccination approach. For future mass vaccination campaigns, we recommend recruiting community health workers locally with better communication skills and able to inform communities about which vaccines we are offering and potential side effects. In the Centre for Victims of Torture in Athens, we conducted a series of interviews exploring how asylum seekers and refugees who are survivors of torture, how they perceive trauma and how their cultural background and their social conditions affect their rehabilitation. The results highlight the impact that political, legal and social cultural factors have on psychosocial rehabilitation of survivors of torture. What we need is more holistic care that considers aspects such as delays in the asylum process, for instance, uh, and that moves away from a singular focus on specific diagnoses. We compared data from household surveys in KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa on HIV uh, treatment and awareness. And our survey data shows us how successful our community mobilization, health promotion and treatment services really were. As a result of our project, we helped contribute to increasing the awareness of HIV status and increasing the number of people adhering to treatment in the area covered by our project. In fact, the number of people living with virally suppressed HIV increased from 57 to 84% in our catchment area, which is a really significant result. Mm -hmm.